Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for following along on my journey with me. So this week's video is long overdue. It is actually going to be some of my top tips to survive the first trimester. I realized that I never really did a video like this and I learned some things along the way that I wish I had known um, a little bit earlier on that would have probably helped me get through the first trimester a little bit easier. So I wanna share some of my tips that helped me and I hope that they help you guys as well. So the first thing that I absolutely, like absolutely needed in the first trimester were things to help me with nausea. I was very blessed that I didn't have any vomiting in the whole first trimester, but I was always nauseous. And so what I found helped me was ginger. So I would either use fresh ginger and make ginger tea. I would drink ginger tea, just like the one you buy over the counter, or I found these ginger chews that are like natural at Sprouts and those helped a lot. And it helped just with that nauseous feeling that you feel a lot. Um, and luckily around week nine, the nausea kind of subsided, but for the first few weeks, it was very, very difficult. And so having something that helps with the nausea is the number one thing you will probably need in your first trimester. Another thing that helped me were saltine crackers. I would get like the little oyster crackers and just eat a few of those throughout the day because what happens is if your stomach gets too empty, then you feel nauseous. But because you feel so nauseous, you don't want to eat. So it's just like this cycle and you're trying to figure out like how to make yourself feel better. So definitely something that's going to help with the nausea. I also used peppermint, peppermint tea that helped a lot as well. And so you may have to experiment a little bit just to figure out what works best for you. But for me, it was ginger and ginger was my like thing <laughs> for the first trimester. So the second tip that I have to survive the first trimester is to rest. I felt really, really bad because I couldn't do a lot of the things that I was used to doing. Um, I am a stay at home wife, so I'm used to doing a lot of things around the house. I'm used to having dinner ready at a certain time. I'm used to going to the grocery store on a certain day and all of these things that I'm normally doing. So in the first trimester when my body was just kind of still trying to figure out you know what was going on and trying to adjust it was hard for me sometimes when i couldn't get up and cook dinner or i couldn't get up and do some of the things um, and even for me because we did ivf i couldn't vacuum for the first 12 weeks and um, a couple other like small things around the house so i would say my next tip is just to rest and not feel bad for having to rest because your body is just really working overtime to uh, provide for this new little creation inside of you. I think that is the second thing that helped me through my first trimester is just knowing that I needed to rest. So the next thing that I would say you need for your first trimester, if you haven't already been taking them before you got pregnant, would be prenatal vitamins. So I have, of course, was taking prenatal vitamins all the way preparing to do my IVF and prepare for pregnancy. But if you have not um, done that prior to getting pregnant, uh, definitely the first trimester is when you need to start taking those prenatal vitamins. And I just take a vegetarian prenatal vitamin from Sprouts and it's a big old horse pill, but you only have to take it once a day. And I know some prenatals you take like two or three times a day. Nobody has time for that. So find a good prenatal. Um, make sure it has like folate, folic acid. Make sure your body has all the nutrients it needs to grow your little ones. My next tip for surviving the first trimester is to stay hydrated. It is very difficult when you're nauseous to drink water sometimes. It could make you more nauseous. But for me, I try to stay hydrated with um, coconut water, which is my go-to. And then at a certain point in the pregnancy, um, in the first trimester, I even started getting sick from the coconut water. And so I think the whole first trimester is just you experimenting to see what works from day to day. 
So if I couldn't just drink regular water, I would drink coconut water. And if the coconut water made me sick, I would do infused water. So I would just try to do lemon water or limes or mint or cucumber or whatever it is I could do to just kind of um, make sure I'm getting enough of the water down because it's no, ma no matter how much you drink, you still feel like so thirsty, but um, it's hard sometimes when you feel nauseous, you don't want to drink or eat anything, but that is definitely another tip that, um, you know, that helped me through the first trimester is making sure I stay hydrated and um, not allowing myself to get dehydrated. So my next tip for surviving your first trimester of pregnancy is to eat, even though it is going to be so very hard for you. To eat and I know there were some days where all I could eat were crackers and peanut butter and just a whole bunch of random things but the most important thing is that you're eating something and so um, I would eat like in the beginning I would make smoothies but then I got to a certain point where the smoothies would make me sick because I think of the fruit or whatever it was, something was sweet in there would make me sick. So every day is just like, you have to figure out what works each day, but um, definitely need to eat and whatever it is you can keep down, whatever it is for that day. If it's just some toast or a piece of fruit, some peanut butter, a cracker, whatever it is, but definitely you wanna make sure you're eating um, even when you don't feel like it or even when you don't have an appetite. I did lose probably five, or so pounds in the beginning of the pregnancy just because my appetite was crazy. I also would have like protein bars. I love the kind bars or just different type of little bars. You don't want to get anything that's like too, has too much sugar or anything in it, but just keep those types of things handy as well. If you could take a few bites of that, then that also could help um, just to put something on your stomach. Cause what you don't want to do is let your stomach get too empty. And then that's really when you start feeling really sick. So um, especially eat as soon as you wake up, I would have like my little crackers on the side of the bed and I would just eat a few of those because the nausea would hit me morning and then at night when it was time for bed. Next tip for the first trimester uh, is to download an app. Um, I use the Bump app and I also use the iBirth app because the Bump app doesn't allow you to keep track of your weight. But um, definitely download an app because from week to week there's so much going on in your body and there's so much going on with, with the development of the baby that um, is very interesting. So I would say download an app so that you can constantly know what's happening from week to week with the baby and it tells you like what size the baby is every week and just the different things that the baby can do or the things that are developing or the things that you can expect to go to happen in your body. So um, having the app really did help me just to know what the heck was going on. I think the apps are also important too because it's um, important to start taking your pictures even if you're early on. Like I started taking my bump pictures at five weeks and I had a little pooch at six weeks and seven weeks, you know, I was already not technically showing but I had like a little bloat going on and so I like to look back at those pictures even now and just to see the the growth of my belly and so I think it's important too for those apps because you can always put your pictures on there and then you can go back and look and see how you know how you have been developing over the couple of weeks or whatever and so I definitely would say make sure you download an app that you like that gives you the information that you're looking for that allows you to keep track of your weekly bump photos if you're taking them weekly or monthly or whenever you want to take them and um, I think that's super important because things change so much. My next tip for surviving the first trimester is to not let others comment um, bother you. People will say some crazy things to you um, especially in the beginning of your pregnancy. I had so many people tell me to not get too excited until I get to like 12 weeks. Or people were either telling me I was getting too big, so there must be twins, or they would tell me I was too small, I needed to eat more. Or, I mean, people will say some crazy things to you. And if you don't have thick skin, I'm telling you, these people can hurt your feelings. And so that would be another tip is not to listen to what others have to say about you and how your body is growing and developing. Um, as long as you're healthy and as long as your baby's healthy, like that's all that matters. And don't let people put fear into you and saying that 
you know, wait until you're a certain at a certain point in your pregnancy before you announce it or before you tell people or before you get excited. Because I had a lot of people telling me, you know, not to get so excited until I make it to 12 weeks. And honestly, I don't think there's any safe zone in any pregnancy. And so I just chose to enjoy every single day and every single week. And so at five weeks, at six weeks, at seven weeks, I was excited and I was telling people and I didn't care just because I wasn't going to allow that fear to take away the joy that I was experiencing with my pregnancy. So as long as you're doing what you know is best for you and your baby, then that's all that matters. My last tip for the first trimester, surviving your first trimester, is if you did IVF, you have to do most of the time you have to do the PIO shots, the progesterone and oil shots when you go in your hip and you do those until around 12 weeks. And this tip is about the IVF PIO shots. So unfortunately those shots are going to give you bruises and lumps and they are terrible. So my tip is to make sure you have an ice pack, a heating pad, and like a little massager, one of those little plastic little things that you can just like massage the, the back with because um, as I said, those lumps get very uncomfortable and very painful. And so icing it, I usually ice in the morning just to kind of help with the soreness. And then in the evening, I do my progesterone shots and then I would put a heating pad on after just to kind of heat the oil and then Tim would use a little massager to like massage the oil in. But that was probably the, one of the worst parts also of the first trimester is doing the PIO shots and having all the lumps and the bruises. And even now I'm almost <laughs> at the end of the second trimester and I still have some soreness and some pain in those spots where I used to do my progesterone shots. Either way, you're gonna have bruises and lumps, but the good news is if you at least try to use ice and heat, it will hopefully help with some of the discomfort and some of the lumps. I think those are all of my top survival tips for the first trimester. I didn't really buy anything for the first trimester. I know if you watch some videos that are like this, some people may say to buy like a belly band or buy a um, heart, the Doppler thing where you can hear the baby's heart. For me, I'm kind of cheap, and so I'm only gonna buy stuff when I like absolutely need it, and I didn't need those things in the first trimester, but you know, you may be different. So when I do the second trimester like tips or must-haves or whatever, then I'll talk about some of the things that I did have to buy, but for the first trimester, I really didn't buy anything. Overall, these are all of the tips I have that helped me in the first trimester, and I hope that you guys found these tips useful. If you have any other tips that help you, I would love to hear them down below in the comments because there may be some of my other girls that are going to be needing some of these tips really soon that um, your tips can help them as well. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back next time with another update. Bye.